I love David. Especially when we have got through some stuff. God, David ever got through some things. Somebody not talk to me. Somebody not praise in the Lord. Ever have war. Ever have got through fight. Touch your neighbor say, if you're not got through nothing, something wrong with you. Lord God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody give God the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Know who God is in your life. Touch your neighbor as a neighbor. You need to know who God is in your life. Do you know him? Do you have him? You sure? Hold a minute. God offers help for today. According to the theme of this Psalm 27, it's dangerous and you know, normal. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He provides hope for your future. Yes. Unwavering confidence yes. in God is our attitude and our antidote for fear yes. and loneliness and hopelessness. Somebody praise God. Yes. I said, complete confidence in the Lord somebody lift your hand and say I got confidence in my God he's able God is able give him the praise hallelujah in the midst of the storm God is able in the midst of the hurricane God is able in the midst of the pestilence and the horrors my God not talk to your neighbor say my God is able to deliver give God the glory give God the praise worship your Lord watch this the problem that faces many of us when going through situation is fear. fear. So fear is a dark shadow yeah. that engulfs us and uh, ultimately imprison us within ourselves. Yeah. And that's what the enemy wants to do. Imprison you. Yeah. Lock you down. Yeah. Oppress, depress. Yeah. Reject you, park you, and leave you for dead. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and the reality is, every one of us have been a prisoner of fear at one time or another in our lives. Somebody praise God. Somebody pray. Uh, am I right? Have you ever been fearful? Have you ever reached a point in your life where fear overtake you? Where you feel like giving up? You feel like hope is gone? You feel like nowhere to turn? You feel like your back is against the wall? And you become so afraid? I'm talking to somebody here. Somebody give God praise. Oh, hallelujah. What are some of your fears that you're facing right now? The fear of rejection. Hold a minute, hold a minute. Let me let me wrap this in a little bit and then climb. The fear of rejection. Nobody wants to be rejected. Are you with me? Nobody wants to feel like nobody cares about you. And many times some of us are in a position where nobody cares and it feels that way. But Lufiana said, Thank you, Jesus. I have a God who never fails, and God cares. Hallelujah. The fear of misunderstanding. Many of us have been misunderstood. And so sometimes you want to talk, but you don't want to say nothing for the fear of being misunderstood in your relationship, in your family, even though at church, somebody prays God because some people don't understand you. And so they try to destroy you because they don't understand. 
can I take my time? Somebody praise God. Uh, then there's a fear of uncertainty. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know what lies ahead. So you develop a spirit of fear. Not knowing uh, who holds tomorrow. Not knowing who holds your hands. Because the situation around you threatens your future. Threatens your happiness threatens your joy and so the fear of uncertainty is around us somebody praise God and then there's a major fear which is the fear of death nobody wants to die and so we have this fear of death somebody praise God give God some glory here and the fear of death is dangerous somebody praise God the fear of sickness we don't want to get sick and die so we have this fear ah but touch your neighbor say have no fear for God is here. Mm, somebody praise God. A lot of us is so fearful of sickness that we pack in medication. But I hear the writer says, he was wounded for my salvation. He was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of my peace was upon him and by his child. I am you gotta declare it. Touch your neighbor say don't fear it. Speak against it. There are a lot of things that you're fearing. You need to speak out against it. Open your mouth and declare over your life that I shall not die. But live and declare the word of the living God. So sickness got to back up. Some of feel the Holy Ghost. Curse got to be reversed. Come on, and spell got to be broken. Somebody feel the Holy Ghost. Feel my anointing. Somebody give him a praise. Somebody worship. Touch your neighbor say, fear not. Fret not. But lift your faith. Because the miracle worker is right here today. And if you have no fear, your deliverer is here. Give him the praise. Now feel God. I feel God. Somebody praise the Lord. So the, 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 let me move on. So now there's the uncertainty, but we can conquer fear by trusting in the Lord. I'm not fearful. I'm fearless. Lift your hand and say, I'm fearless. I'm not fearful because God brings us into salvation. If we want to dispel the darkness of fear, let us be reminded therefore with the psalmist where he declared in Psalm 27 that the Lord is my light and my salvation the Lord the Lord loose me man the hill let me preach this for 10 minutes the Lord is my light and my salvation who the Lord the King of Kings the Lord of Lords the conquering lion in the tribe of Judah the Lord is my light there are some people want to block up and dark up your life there are some people in a dark room want to mess up your life want to bury you in darkness want to seek you with darkness want to block you with darkness but tell your enemy tell some hypocrite tell some parasite some Canaanite the Lord is my light when I'm in darkness God is my light when the wicked come upon me God is my light God is my the light of the world is the light of the world is and if Jesus is for me who can be a 
he shines his light all over me can i preach i will not walk in darkness because the light is jesus the lord is my light and my soul whom 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 me teach you early you know me tell you if you're fearful to go on me now come I praise God cause some Goliath rise up against you and I threaten your life cause them why you're afraid of them can I preach but you're little and talawa because your power and you come from you if the Lord is your light and salvation whom whom Touch your neighbor, say, who them? A who them? We not here. A who them? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom? 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 Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? Whom? Ahu dem 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 dem. Ahu dem. Touch them and say ahu dem. Ah where they come from? They know where me come from. They know who I cover me. They know who I shine light on me. Touch your neighbor and say neighbor, neighbor. I've got Jesus. I've got Jesus. I've got Jesus. I've got. Feel the Holy Ghost. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him some praise. I've got Jesus, and He's my light and my salvation. Not just my light, but my salvation. I am saved, and I know that I am. I'm delivered, and I know that I am. I'm wrapped up. I'm tied up. I'm tangled up with Jesus, 'cause every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody praise God. Let me go here. Hallelujah. So whom me no care all the hope ya? What am I work? All the science? What am I read? All the picture? What am I carry? All the head and powder and oil? What am I use? No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. No. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship. Somebody worship. I who them? Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. I wonder where they go. I where they go last week. Where they go this week? I wonder how much. My fall and kill. How much prison blood? They want drink. It no matter. Whom? 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 Shall I fear? Whether them go Haiti, whether them go Saint Thomas, whether them go to Mandeville, whether them go to Vie, you know what me preach? You know what me preach? Whether them go to Saint Mary, it no really matter. Whatever, whom? Who shall I fear? Who? Shall I lift up the church? I said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Somebody tell me who. Worship with your preacher. Say, oh, shall I? Somebody tell me say who. Lord and my, somebody tell me, say who, who shall? Somebody tell me again, 
Mungu sehu Shala Wali guo soli guo se Bam 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 the Lord And my Somebody tell me say who Shall I sing Give him praise Me say me no care a who Some of you because a who You're afraid Start hide Want to run away But let me be clear Who Where is your strength? Some of you are weak, fearful, and the fear is what killing you. But you have to open your big mouth, cause life and death is in the power. So all when you see them go out and see them come back and sarcastically laugh after you, cause them think they have you where they want you. Just lift up your mouth and say, "Who shall I fear? The Lord." Is the strength of my life so whom shall I be a the Lord is the strength of my life when I am weak he make me strong David say Saul look at me I might look young rudy and handsome but now watch that I have strength I have power we kill bear, we kill lion. No, we are gonna kill a giant. But you never say, now watch the size, watch the power. No, watch the size, watch the power. No, watch the sling, watch the fire. Somebody now talk to me. Somebody now preach with me. Amen, somebody. Cause some people are you afraid of them. So feed them no bigger than fear. And them have more money if you go walk up here. But tell them down on my knees. When sorrow rise, I talk with, I feel the Holy Ghost. You have strength. He is my refuge and my very present help in time of. He will not suffer my foot to be. Praise God, no man. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Somebody praise God. Praise God. You ready now, church? You ready with your strength? Cause they might come after you now. But you never say they hand their ear. Them already surround you. Them already around you. But I hear the psalmist said, when the wicked, when the wicked, when the wicked, even my foe came upon to eat up my they will, they will, they will, they will, they will, they will, they gonna when the weak. Some people wicked, some people around you wicked, some family wicked, some church people weak, some co worker weak, some husband weak, some man in your life, and some Jezebel, they're wicked. I'm a preacher. Can I preach all the wicked? Them? Somebody say, preach them out. Identify them. Cause they're going down. The psalmist said, no worry about them. Cause when the wicked, even my foe. By the way, Holy Ghost drop this in my spirit right here, sir. The wicked, them out there. And when the wicked out there yes. fire at you, yes. sometimes you can't hide, duck, shift, yes. and fire back. Yes. Come here, brother, never. But when you fall, yes. the fall now yes. is the people who are close to you. Yes. My foe, my family, yes. my companions, yes. the people I'm around. My foe, watch out, came up on me to eat up. Why? Because you're close. 
So if you look on the man there and the man you not like you, he just stab you. Come on. You look on the man there and you trust the man there for you hold your back and he just stab you. Come on. You stand beside him and you think say your friend and he just you go in front of him and you say, Yeah, man, me, I go and we attack and he just. That's your foe. The one with the cross. Where you not think of them. You can't believe say, them. When you find out, you're going to shock. For you know, say, the one where you feed. The one where you sleep with. The one where you help. The one where you give your money, give your clothes, give your things, how they must stab you up, how they must slaughter you, how they want to murder you, how they are your foe. But when the enemy and my foe came upon me to eat up, they will stop, they will, they will, they will. Somebody lift your faith. A time for you to stop, weep. Stop, make them call you down. I have you down, man. Lift up your mouth and start fire back. Dear be me now take no blow. Because I know who God is. I know who God says I am. What he says I'm at. Where he says I am. Feel the Holy Ghost. I'm walking in power. I'm working miracle and live a life of favor Cause I know I am I'm walking in power Say I'm working miracle and live a life of favor Everybody say oh Somebody wanna tell me, tell me say oh Ho 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 I said I know Everybody say with me Oh 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 ho ho I know who I I've got Jesus I've got the Lord Tell some people be careful Oh they run up in a you Tell them be careful how they become your foe and your enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I know me I go fret. Put yourself and I know me I go fret. Fret not thyself because of evil. Do what they should be. The wicked, even the foe, came upon me. To heat up my flesh, well, on the after your flesh is your flesh. They after them want to murder you down. They want you leave a hospital. They want to stress you out. They want to give you sugar. They want to give you pressure. You know what I preach? They want to swell your head. They want to give you belly. Them after your flesh. Holy Ghost, if he tell you the reason why some people offer your flesh, them can't touch your spirit. Can I preach? Amen. They can only touch your flesh. But God said, don't worry about them who can trouble your flesh. Worry about the one who can trouble your spirit. Some people don't understand you. Your spirit too strong for them. They can't swallow you. Your spirit too powerful. Can I preach? Because his voice makes a difference. When he speaks, he releases. I feel the Holy Ghost. It's the only voice I hear that makes a difference and I follow one day at a time I feel God my spirit connects spirit give birth to spirit but flesh give birth to flesh born again people no worry are you covered in your 
your spirit. Jesus said, Peter, flesh and blood, never tell you, but the spirit, and upon this rock, I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against Feel the Holy Ghost. Get out my flesh. Get out my flesh. Somebody worship. Somebody praise him. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I hear Job when the devil attacked his flesh. He said, Man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. Naked I came, naked I will return. Me now worry. Devil attack my flesh, but you cannot attack my spirit because my spirit belongs to the Lord. I'm breathing the very breath of God I'm living for Jesus somebody praise God worship your God hey! they are after your flesh what did the devil do to Job brought him down to skin and bone. Yes. Eat out his flesh. Yes. In order for him to curse God and die. Yes. Why? Because God said you can't touch the flesh. But you can't touch the soul. You can't touch the spirit. Yes. And that are some people problem. Yes. There is an edge around your soul. There is an edge around your spirit. So all when they want to kill you. They kill you. You shall not die. The word of the Lord. Amen. Am I talking truth? David said they came to eat up my flesh. They came upon me. To eat up when I'm preaching, I go deep and I, I reveal the scripture. You must watch that when the wicked, even my enemies, came up on me to eat up my they stumble and fall because every bite them bite off of me, them bite the Holy Ghost. Somebody now and shut up. And the anointing is poisonous to the enemy yeah. while it is life to me. Uh oh. Uh, can I prove that? Jesus said, You will drink deadly poison and it cannot hurt you. You will tread upon scorpion, sinews, and they can't hurt you because your spirit is. Your anointing is, your blood is, you're comprehensively covered by the blood of, and God is a spirit, and they that worship him, worship in spirit. So when I get in the spirit realm, no weapon, no weapon form again. You need to come out of the flesh realm. The flesh realm will make your sin and do evil things. But the spirit realm keeps you protected, keeps you covered. Uh, 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 Adam was in the spirit realm until he become fleshy and start quarreling with God. So God not give him no flesh for him company. So God put him asleep and took flesh 
from his flesh made flesh and gave him flesh now he said this is flesh of my flesh and bone of my bone but what happened immediately the devil shows up and tests his flesh because when the devil tempted Eve he was also tempting Adam because he was trying to get to Adam but Adam was in the spirit but now that Adam has flesh not just on him but walking around him the devil shows up and mess with his flesh and cause his flesh to sin and not his spirit And the flesh exposes nakedness and cause him to sin and get out of as long as Adam was trusting God alone he was okay but as long as he got flesh it created problem because the devil showed up so that's why David said it that's why the devil went to God to destroy Job's flesh because if you destroy the flesh you get somebody to sin and you get them out of the presence and then you get to kill them that might be too deep for some of you so he says when my enemies and my foe came upon me to eat up my flesh they will stumble and they will fall because you ain't touching this Touch not the Lord's anointing, nor do his servant no harm. You cannot touch this. You need to back them off before they get to your flesh. Because if they ever inject you with them poison, they can seek you and destroy you. So now everything good for eat, good for talk, and anything good for talk, good for eat. I never forget everything was going on downtown fine. And when I start war, some demons in other place and some devils and one woman. And when I mash her up under the spirit and back her out and make sure I get, and then she wheel back when men are there and be a put nangi past and everybody near me put now from that everybody turn against me in the church. Because the devil fed their flesh. When my God me I say big pudding come up and they eat up a pudding and from the eat up a pudding past everybody turn everybody get trapped and there was no turning back until the church was broken and I was pushed away and pushed out that's how downtown mash up one pudding capture the whole of them you know if you licky licky yummy yummy you're a poison because some people them can't touch your spirit so they will hurt you flesh they come to eat up because if they get to your flesh they'll get to you job was going on fine even though he was suffering but when it hits him hard was when the devil now uses his wife who is his flesh lord jesus Sometimes you have go through some things and you have some people around you and you swear to them there with you and them are going to stand up with you and them are going to stand with you and be there. But the devil just used them in the flesh. And just because you love them, sometimes you listen to them, but they mess you up because the devil used them. So the devil jumping at your wife and send him to Job and the woman said yo why you not just curse God and dead remember I said that's what the devil went to God and said no, if I touch him and seek him and mad him and knock him out he will curse you to your face but because Job in the spirit was not cursing God he used the flesh to attack Job for him to curse God and he brought the wife home to declare what the devil wanted to do no worry God is about to reveal what the devil trying to do to your life God is about to reveal why the man will give you a problem, why the woman want to kill you, and the man in your life want to seek you. God should tell you, say, Son, devil. So I feel the Holy Ghost. Why your own blood turn against you, your own trusted friend turn against you. I wonder why the devil gets into their flesh to attack your flesh because they want to weaken your spirit. 
So I hear the writer say, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the full armor of God that when the days of evil come, you can stand. The reason why some of we are stand is because we harm and dangerous. We have protection. We have shield. We have helmet. But you never say you're not see it. But me have it on. Cause I worry Pablo. Come after some of you. And I know you know reach you. And them I wonder which hope your man you have. But tell them you're fully covered. Fully covered. Closes. We have a long journey to go. See you, God. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. My heart will not fear. Somebody touch your heart and say, Come on, heart. No fear, nobody right now. Come on, say, Heart. Nobody get nervous. Me no want no heart attack. Cause if your heart get nervous, your whole body nervous. If your heart scared, the whole are you scared? Am I right? But the heart is the engine. It pump the blood. Somebody praise God. So when David faced Goliath, his heart did not fear, but his heart became big and the adrenaline start rushing and the heart pump some blood, some extra power up in our brain and the brain pump some extra power in our hand and his hand pump some extra power in our slingshot. Oh God, now you. I'm going to say that again. Can I say that again? I said his heart was not fearful. But his adrenaline start pumping. He said I'm going to kill something. In the name of the heart. So the heart pump extra blood to the brain. And the brain send extra power to the hand. And the hand send extra power to the slingshot. We look little for the big giant. But when him Mighty God. My heart will not fear. Though they encamp around me. Hallelujah. The wars break counts against me. Even then will I be confident. Even then will I be. Even then will I be. You must be confident. Well on. When some we are under the anointing and we are got you powerful and I declare some word after some people, them say we both see. As for me, I saw them say. But David was bossy. David said, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my, thou anointest my head and my cup running. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my. You know, see, you know, see, bossy. You know, see, bossy. You know, see, bossy. All the days of my and I will dwell in the house of you know see bossy i will say of the lord he is my ref and my my god in him will i you know see bossy god is in the midst of her she shall not be the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. He maketh me to lie down in green. 
he restored my soul he leaded me in the path of yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear you know see what say So why you trouble me with my boss in this one? You don't see who me a boss in. You don't see who make me look good. You don't see who make me look healthy. You don't see who a bless me. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see. Because you're in the flesh. You have to come up and you have to see me. So make me understand why some people not believe in me and not understand me. Because they're in the flesh and me in the spirit. And spirit give birth to spirit. And only spirit can understand spirit. So I'm sorry for someone. I'm really sorry for someone. We not, we not understand Mark Stewart. I understand your problem. You're in the flesh and me in the spirit. So, so, so you can. Me, me get to find out how some people problem. They might watch me in the flesh. But they're not seeing the spirit that is inside. On the inside. On the inside of me. Come fill my life from the inside. Well, on. the law says, man look on the outside, but God look inwardly at the heart. Look on the outside and judge me, man. Deep in my soul, there's a peace flowing deep within my soul no worry about me there's a peace with all the hell what me I got through and all the hell that is breaking loose around me and every person and every wicked up against me there is a peace running deep within my soul Lord have mercy so you know what I'm gonna do this is what David says one thing I desire and one thing I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze in the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. I may just sit down in the house of the Lord and just keep gazing, keep worshiping, keep praising, because I know my change is coming. Feel the Holy Ghost. I waited. Job said, All of my appointed days. I will wait until my chain come. Yeah. Somebody you run up and down too much. Yeah. Someone said they that wait upon the Lord. Yeah. But some of you can't wait, you want a quick fix. Yeah. So today you're there for me fasting and if me not pray good for you, and you're not getting a breakthrough tomorrow, you're going somewhere else. And then you come back with it, devil them. You know, get no help. And all of a sudden, me not real. And the next reader man real. But me glad me I no reader man. If you want to read, go read book. I am a warrior. Christian warrior. With me. Well on. Well on. Something on. Something there, Akron. Sean. Read a man, read you up. And give you something. If you go try, fix your problem. But warrior, fight for you. And destroy your problem for you. You're not sure, Lord God. Lord Jesus. Somebody now help me down here. Warrior. Warrior. I don't give you nothing. <coughs> Figure you use. And tell you if you don't work, come back for something else. What me I give you, I know say it work. Unless you don't have no faith. And it work instantly. And miraculously. Ridiculously. Miracle worker. Mishak. Power. So you can't go along and read them. 
Jesus said, I give you power to drive back every demons to hell. You will straight on them. You will speak against them. And they will have to flee. So David said, if I want that strength, I must dwell in the house of the Lord. You know how much people come at altar and no want Jesus? They only come for the little quick special, special prayer. Because the man that kill them, they want visa, they want go for it, they want job, they want money, they want healing. So I go down at the, the, the man. Let me hear say, people are get help, so I go look for help. But you know, see what David said, he's not just my light, he's my salvation. And then he come back again and say, He who dwells in the secret place of the most high, they shall abide under the and that's why some demon are killed some of you because you know they know where it got. Some of you are in a church, but you know they know where it got. Because if you was in the secret place of the most high, then no demons, no devil should be able to come nigh thy dwelling because the presence of the Lord. The Bible said he encampeth around them that diligently seek him to deliver them from all their troubles. So some of you need to check yourself. I know people are your problem. Are you are your problem? You're in the wrong place. Check which part you're there, man. Because the secret place is not easy for reach. Are you with me? You have to go through hell if you get there. You know, you hear the Bible says it's a secret place of the most high. And now any, anybody can go up in there, so. Someone who want to jump up in there, you know, they know where. You can't find it. That's why some people can't find you to hurt you because where you are, you are protected, you're overshadowed, you're covered in the secret place of the most. I'm preaching to somebody here today. You shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So when the wicked, even my enemies and my foe, came upon me to eat up my, they will stumble and they will fall. One shall chase a thousand, but two will put ten thousand of them to fly. I shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I will bear my fruit in my season. My leaf shall not feel the Holy Ghost. But the ungodly, they're not so. They're like the chaff, which will wind drive it away. You can move them, but they can't move you. If you ever rise up and begin to speak out against some devils attacking you, you'll be understanding that all they're trying to move you, they can't move you. But if you just speak one word to the heavenly, they will be driven away 